My intent for this channel has never been for it to be a debunking channel. There are plenty of people out there debunking Flat Earth and mocking the Flat Earthers, making fun of them, and honestly making some very hilarious videos. My intent has always been to provide education so that you can make a decision for yourself how reality actually is. Well, yesterday not only brought me to my 400th subscriber, it also brought me an opportunity to confront a flat earther head on on their specific claims. You may remember a few weeks ago, I posted a video about the Southern Israelite and Flat Out Hero. Southern Israelites was not an anti flat earth video, it was only to bring to light his blatant, obvious, and hateful racism from one of his other channels. My comments to Flat Out Hero, though, were directly in response to a video that he published, and I was able to destroy it with 30 seconds of Google searching. Let's have a quick flashback to that video. Okay, so I keep hearing about how fast these rockets are going, these space shuttle craft, these, these spaceships. They're traveling faster than the speed of sound, right? 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 <laughs> well, I got a question, though. <laughs> if they're traveling pa faster than the speed of sound, where's the vapor shield? You don't know what I'm talking about? The vapor shield. Here, let me show you. This is jet fighters breaking the speed of sound. Sound barrier. There's a vapor shield, kind of. There it is. There it is. They're really breaking the sound barrier. So where's the sound barrier vapor shield on a rocket? Oh. <laughs> you mean the moon landing missions, it hadn't been discovered yet? <laughs> so they didn't know to fake that part? So you're telling me that just because they hadn't discovered the sound barrier vapor shield yet, that it didn't happen to appear on rockets and it still doesn't appear on rockets to this day? Look at that. That's what happens when you break the sound, right there. Sound barrier. Boom. Broken. Done. But that's supposed to happen within four seconds a lot of times of rockets going. They're taking off four seconds into it. They're already traveling fucking 700 and whatever miles per hour, right? And where's their vapor shield? How are we able to track them with the camera? Huh? Since the flat out hero is unable to figure out how to work the Google machine, I thought I'd give him a little bit of a hand. Apparently he didn't like my help. Pancake Hero, the Apollo missions and the majority of rockets do not show a vapor shield when the rockets are supposedly breaking the sound barrier. Just because you have found video of one doesn't mean a damn thing compared to all the mistakes you can find. One mistake equals downfall of NASA, and they make many. I didn't give you one, Flat Out Hero. I gave you five. And you didn't ask for five. You said that no rockets, none, even the Apollo ones, did not have a vapor shield because we had not discovered it yet. You're wrong, and once again you're moving the goalpost. I'm actually... I will admit that since posting this video, I have trolled Flat Out Hero slightly. About once a week, I've been posting on this particular video on YouTube, which he actually posted twice, asking him to respond back and answer my question. Well, today he responded back. And you may not be able to see it in the picture on the screen, but the goalpost is there. But you can't see it because it's, it's behind the Orion Nebula. He's moved it so far. I apologize while reading this because apparently the flat out hero not only can't afford a laptop or a desktop computer, but he also cannot afford punctuation. So you literally tried to say that you debunked me and yet you still letting the point go over your head. 
That's pretty dumb of you to continue to speak up as if you are proving me wrong when the videos that you show and claim are legit are so obviously not of any actual craft breaking the barrier that is pretty pathetic of you, but I'll vote anyways cause I'm bored. Check it out, yo. When you see a jet plane going fast enough to create the vapor shield, it enters your peripheral and you can maybe track it as it crosses your vision and exits the opposite peripheral if you have lightning fast reflexes. So all you have to do is point you to one video of any sound barrier breaking jet and ask the question that ends your entire belief that the rockets that they are claiming are going that fast are legit. The question? Yeah, it goes like this. Why is it, do you think, that when filming any jet plane that breaks the sound barrier, the cameraman will only be able to see the plane at most, literally I'm granting you four seconds that really shouldn't be included, but I like to give benefit when I can, five seconds. What they can fake as far as Vapor Shield is debunked by the most in-your-face fact of all when it comes to this subject, and that is that you are able to see the rocket for more than an entire minute many times. Ha ha ha. And you think you're smart enough to mock me. You can't even put that much together without me having to point it out for you before stepping to me. Or if you still think you are smarter than me in any way, then put up or shut up and let's have a debate and let the world decide who is dominant. What do you say? There are so many things about that comment that are utterly nonsensical. I provided a response, but I won't read it today. If you'd like to see it, go back to the original video as I responded to him. I not only responded with information about the things that he claimed were true, which are not, but I accept your challenge. I accept your challenge to a debate. So if you're man enough, Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, to be hosted by Fight the Flat Earth. Be there, unless you're too scared. Now to my listeners. I'm requesting your assistance to ensure that he gets this message. What I'm asking is for everyone to politely go over onto his channel and make sure that he knows that he has thrown down the gauntlet and I've picked it up. I'll see you on Friday.